I want your fear. Tis the season for spooky stories, and one of the classics, Bram Stoker's Dracula, <laughs> currently freaking out audiences at ACT, is an exciting and bold reimagining from playwright Stephen Dietz, who has written more than 30 plays, including the Pulitzer Prize-nominated Last of the Boys and the Steinberg Award finalist Becky's New Car. I sat down with Stephen on the Dracula set to find out why this story needed an update. Well, Stephen Dietz, you are a world-renowned playwright, certainly beloved in this town. And I think, is it 12 productions here at ACT? This is the 12th, Dracula's the 12th production the seventh, here at this theater. Seventh world premiere? Seventh world premiere, yeah. Wow, yeah. So I'm Well, thank you. I'm, man, I'm uh, extraordinarily grateful for this theater's commitment mm. to me over all these years. I, yeah. I certainly could not have expected that 31 years ago, mm. so. Oh, that's pretty great. So before we dive into this production, right. for anyone unfamiliar with Dracula, what's the basic storyline? Basic story is Count Dracula, the, who we know sort of famously is living in Transylvania and he is aged and he is starving and he's wanting blood and he's all alone. So sadly, a, a, a young London solicitor comes to sell him the deed to a house in London. So he comes to London and upon coming to London, he meets up with that solicitor's fiance, who's the character of Mina, meets up with uh, a, a, an inmate in the asylum, Renfield, the head of the asylum, Seward, and that small group of people are charged with trying to find out the mystery of what is happening mm. to these women, uh -huh. uh, and they're charged with trying to track him down and end, end his life. And ending a vampire's life is a complicated thing, as you know. <laughs> Not easy to do. <clears throat> Not easy to do. Now, you first adapted Dracula, was it 1996? 1996. Okay, and it's been produced Oh, certainly around the country, maybe around the world, hugely successful. Why did you want to rework the story? I really thought that Bram Stoker was done with me. <laughs> I, I really thought I, I, I enjoyed doing that sort of traditional, straightforward adaptation 25 years ago. Yeah. But John Lang's here at ACT Theater um, was still interested in the story. And he's, he essentially didn't ask me to r write this new version, but he sort of challenged me to look at it again. Mm -hmm. And upon looking at it again, I realized I'm a different playwright than I was 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we're in a different time yeah, than we were 25 sure. years ago. Oh, yeah. And um, I re-engaged with the story, and I began to see uh, a way to tell it from a slightly different angle. Mm -hmm. So uh, the new adaptation, it's uh, subtitled Mina's Quest, yes. correct? So unpack that starting a little bit about who exactly is Mina. And Mina is, the, is the, the, essentially the heroine of the novel. She's essentially the victim of the novel. Mm -hmm. she's, the, she's the young woman that, that becomes Dracula's uh, goal. And you know, so in a, in, a, in a Victorian age, she is going to be um, a, a victim, essentially. She's going to be the men in the play are going to, you know, in sort Dominate. of sort of Victorian mansplaining. They're, they're right. They're they're going to surround her and say, "Here's what's going on." The, the, it, you know, the novel is a it's a it's a it's a it's a mystery thriller. Mm. I got interested as I worked in the fact that um, what if I what if Mina has to figure out the things that in my previous adaptation, the men told her? What if she be, has to become the detective of the story in which she herself is the victim? Mm -hmm. Well, and we talked a little bit earlier um, that the way you've rewritten Mina, it could be viewed a little bit as uh, a response to the hashtag Me Too. Yeah. Would that be correct uh, at all? I, I, think think? It's, I think it's uh, not completely that black and white, yeah. but, I, but, I think it's, uh, but I don't think it's inaccurate. We, we inherit these stories. Mm -hmm. We inherit Jane Austen. We inherit Frankenstein. We inherit Dracula. We, in, we inherit these stories, um, but we can only view them through our one slice of time. Right. We will never be able to see this story in another time than our own. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I think our own time has to color mm -hmm. our adaptations. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now, the production features uh, an all-star lineup of Seattle actors. Oh, yeah. Brandon O'Neill plays the title role. Oh my gosh. Blood of my blood. Flesh of my flesh. Um, those fangs, first of all, look <laughs> bizarrely natural. He looks pretty good in fangs, doesn't he? very good in yeah. fangs. Yeah. Um, does he bring qualities to Dracula that are new, that we haven't maybe seen before? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say I would also wonder how many times people have seen Dracula in, in, a, in a room, mm -hmm. in the theater. Uh -huh. it's, so, it's so iconic in terms of popular mm -hmm. culture. Right. But being, you know, people will be sitting in a theater and they're going to be five feet <laughs> away from him. And he is 
feral yeah. and he is carnal and he's smart and he's all these things that Brandon is as an as an actor but then it's it, it's almost that uh, you know you, you you would hope sometimes as a playwright that you would make a role that will unleash an actor yeah, yeah. Uh, you shall know him soon Now the cast also includes a musician mm -hmm. uh, on the stage. Um, what does the element of live music bring to a production, from your perspective? Oh, I just think it it it's another voice in the play. This is a this is a uh, seven character play and, um, ensemble piece, but the musician and this this amazing cello that she plays adds this eighth voice that um, is a I think it unifies. It. And as much as a, I am a I am a wordsmith. Um, uh, music always wins. Did you have an input, in, any input into the overall look, the costumes, the set, the lighting? I ha absolutely, but it, it, you come think, in and say no, 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 no. No, <laughs> well, it's 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 probably slipperier than that. Yeah. In that, in that, John, John, I think just saw this production yeah. in his huh. head, maybe even before I had written this adaptation. Mm. Um, he's just he said to me, "I'm going to honor everything you write." He's been completely supportive of that, but he said, "I got to tell you, I, there's a th there's things I see. I really, I really, between you and I and the, everyone watching, I mean, I, honestly, I think he understands the play better than I do, and it shows up in the production." So there's a content advisory to the audience that the play includes quote, quote. epic amounts of stage blood and gore. So uh, translate epic amounts. Are we talking pints? Are we talking quarts, gallons? Uh, I think it's more. I think I'm going to say it's more. It's more uh, tactical than that. Okay. So I would say that there are there are particular moments that are epic, uh -huh. and those moments contain <laughs> blood. I am everywhere. Promo video for the play is there's a really is drenched in blood. How does the prop department create that? I mean, what's the recipe for that really, really authentic look? I'm sure look? it's like the recipe to Coke, and I can't <laughs> tell you. Well, not only how do they create it, how do they make it look so realistic? Totally. How do they wash it out of the clothes yeah. at night? Right. How does it get on stage? How do the actors use it? That you, it would not surprise you to, to learn how many, uh, that there have been, I'm sure, thousands of emails mm -hmm. sent by members of this theater to yes. each other yes. about all of these things, because it doesn't just, it affects everybody. It affects the microphones, it affects the sound, it affects the floor. Right. Um, so uh, this, is when I'm, this is when it's easier and mm. probably cheating to just be the playwright. And I go, well, it was really easy to type. Yeah. You know, the <laughs> blood just comes, the blood just comes, you know, it takes, <laughs> it took me a second to type it, you all. Yeah, right. um, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, but in, seen it I'm just in awe of how they've, mm. in, of how they've solved this uh, mm -hmm. and to use it. Um, and again, it's different in the theater than, right. than seeing that uh, of course. on TV or on right, film. on film. Now, Dracula is, is obviously meant to be scary, um, but you've incorporated humor into yes, the Yes, absolutely. Play. So how do you keep the comedy from undercutting the fright Factor. I don't think of them. I don't think of it as a binary. I don't mm -hmm. think they're. I don't think they're opposites. Mm -hmm. um, you really, in my in my opinion, and I'm fascinated by thrillers and these kind of stories. You you can't you can't affect someone until you invite them, mm -hmm. and nothing invites like humor. So early on in the play, a lot of the work of the story and of the play is not jokes per se, but it's but it's the warmth. Mm -hmm. um, and if we bank that humor early, we can spend that on terror later. You can, yeah, people will go a lot of places. A absolutely, the, play, the, the story is not, this is not spoof, this is not mm -hmm. camp. There's really fun camp versions of Dracula out there. This is not that, mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a, it takes the notion seriously mm -hmm. that a pure man, we're told of Dracula, this character of Dracula, a pure man turned evil. Mm -hmm. um, and it, John, as I said, takes that notion very seriously. But if I want you to hear that story, I'm going to invite you in with, yeah. you know, just, um, some lines that, serious yeah, that loosen you up. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, congratulations. And Dracula uh, runs now through November 17th on the Falls Theater stage at ACT. Ticket information is at acttheater.org. I feel like I should bite you right now. <laughs> I'm scared. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Terrific. Did we do what we were supposed to do? That was fabulous. All right.